Act 1, Section 5 of A Doll's House, Torvald catches Nora in a lie when she initially denies that Krogstad has paid her a visit. He saw Krogstad leaving, and even though Nora said no one had been around, he knows better. But clever Nora quickly brings up the upcoming masquerade ball Ooh. they'll be attending as a distraction. Her interest in, and preparation for, the ball will be used by her to distract her husband several more times. Torvald tells Nora a songbird must have a clean beak to indicate that she must be honest. The two then discuss Krogstad's future at the bank, where Torvald has been made manager. Torvald does, in fact, want to fire Krogstad. Nora must defend the man she and her husband both know perfectly well is a shady character, but she can't reveal to him her blackmail secret. He assumes it's just her kind, giving personality going to bat for those less fortunate than herself, at least for now. Torvald likens the hypocrite Krogstad to an evil infection, a poison, and the kind of person Torvald feels physically ill to be around. He tells Nora it would be quite impossible for me to work with him, making it known how Torvald will react toward her if he discovers what she's done. The audience has come to see Nora and Krogstad as mirror images. So now, when Torvald discusses Krogstad, he is, unbeknownst to him, talking about Nora. Ibsen adds the detail here that Krogstad is disreputable and has been shunned, essentially, for forging a signature. The same mistake Nora has made to ensure that the equation set up previously is apparent to the audience during this conversation. As Torvald asserts his moral judgment upon Krogstad's character, the audience sees what's at stake for Nora. Nora asks Torvald to help her choose what costume to wear to the masquerade party. Metaphorically, she's asking about her very identity when she asks, what shall I go as? Later in the scene, Torvald telling Nora he must think about her costume highlights what the audience already knows, and Torvald does not, the truth about his wife. All Torvald really knows about Nora are her costume and mask in life, an unreal identity she embodies just for him. Torvald also talks about Krogstad's need for a mask. He says that a hypocrite such as Krogstad must wear a mask in the presence of those near and dear to him. Also in this section, the bird symbolism returns, taking on the specific connotation of singing signifying speech, and the nature of that speech in metaphor. All through Act 1, Nora's relationship with her children significantly declines. By the end of the scene, Torvald has rattled Nora to the point that she is afraid to be in the same room with her children. She's starting to spiral out of control. <laughs>